Okay, who is taking care of our caretakers? Farzana Doctor is an author, has also had experience in caretaking, and she's put her knowledge into a new workbook. It's called 52 Weeks to a Sweeter Life for Caregivers, Activists, and Helping Professionals. Why did you put this book together? Because this is kind of, I mean, you do everything. You do mm -hmm. poetry, you do fantastic novels. You, you do a lot of self-care as well. Yes, so I, I've been a social worker and activist for 35 years, and what I've seen along the way is a lot of overwhelm and burnout, uh, overwork, and um, you know, these are the folks, caregivers, um, helping professionals and activists who really like preach self-care to everybody else but have a hard time doing it themselves. Right, and so it leads to burnout. It leads to burnout, and I wanted to figure out a way to create a really accessible guide for people to be able to start delving into these issues. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's broken down, like the 52 weeks, you don't have to do one week after the other. Mm -hmm. I like that it's just, it's little bite-sized, very, very tiny yes. things to do yes. in a week, and if you don't want to do the next week's one, don't do it. Go yes. back to, it encourages you to go back and do the ones that were speak useful. to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, these are really busy people. They are on the go all the time. And so it was really important that everything be really bite sized. Mm -hmm. and, and these are people who are professional caregivers. These are, are people that are looking after maybe young ones, maybe parents, in laws. Yes. Yes, it's all of these people, and it's it's also the helping professionals who we think of, like the doctors, the nurses, the midwives, PSWs, uh, PSWs, all of those people, and then it's the people who are the unpaid caregivers at home, um, and it's also the activists. We often don't think about activists getting burnt out, but they do too. And and you would know because you're one yourself. Yes, I think <laughs> yes. anytime we're dealing with like people or causes, we feel some of that emotional heaviness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you feel like that that's what you are, that's what you're doing all the time. Mm -hmm. And how do you take that break? And and by self-care, it's, it's not just things like, like getting a manicure or, or having a tea by, you know, all by yourself kind of thing. Yes. There, there's many other examples. Yes, and you know, those things are good, mm -hmm. especially because they provide relief and pleasure. Uh, so we wanna do those things, but we also wanna think deeper. We wanna reflect on why it's difficult for us uh, to care for ourselves. What are some of like what's some of the historical stuff that we've been dealing yeah. with? What's some of the societal baggage that's there that makes it hard for us to take breaks and to stop and reflect? So it's also about like looking a little bit deeper into ourselves. What did you think was the biggest? What was the biggest spark that kind of okay? I have to do I have to do a guide on this. Yes. So over the last few years, I've been doing much more clinical supervision with young social workers. And um, there were so many ways that they were completely preaching self-care to their clients, but they didn't know how to ask for help themselves. They didn't know how to take breaks. They had lunch breaks, but they weren't taking them. Now, some of this is structural, right? Mm -hmm. Overwork is embedded yes. in our society and in our organizations. Um, but they needed to look at, did they not deserve care themselves? Uh, so that was like the major impetus for me, but then I realized, oh, this is happening to people all over the place. Right, and it's kind of like that adage of, you know, uh, the aircraft warning that they give you. You know, you have to give oxygen to yourself before you can give it to somebody else. Yes, and so often these folks will understand that completely, say, yeah, 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 and then it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where is the book available? Everywhere. Um, okay. Yeah, in bookstores everywhere right now. Okay, yeah. we'll get the uh, online links and, and your social links as well up on our website, chch.com slash morning live. Again, it's 52 weeks to a sweeter life.